Hello, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Let me know while I put the uh, pop-up on, okay? Hello, Charlie. All right, so let's get started with the daily FOMO, shall we? Okay, so they just dropped a bunch of new things. I've cleared out the wish list. So we're gonna we're gonna start at the top of the the thing here. So we have a choker called Serenity Strand. Ooh ah, and nothing on this row. Nothing on this row. Oh, actually, there is something. It's a pearly thing. Oh, it's so cute. Happy Pie Day, everybody! Is everyone gonna go out for pie today? I'm sure now that David heard me say that, he'll be like, "Ooh, you want to go to Sherry's for dinner tonight?" <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I bought many, many little apple pie things, little Debbie ones, y'all, so Dave could have apple pie, because that's the kind of wife I am. Hi, Suzanne. So I'm just marking in all the new pieces. What the cluster fuckery is that? Sorry. Um, what's going on there? Okay. Alrighty then. And then we have more motify filigree things. It's so funny how some of these things just sit for days. We have a Timu anklet. Yay. Why are we? That's not new. That's old, but it's a new release today. Yay. Am I missing anything? Oh, look, we, we're bringing out wood pieces again. Got to get your tropical on. And a coil that's, <laughs> that thing is not going to stay on a wrist. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. All right. So we have, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, I missed this one. It's a coil too. So one, two. Just making sure I got all the new stuff hearted so we can see how crazy the FOMO is going to be today. I'm pretty sure uh, the brass teardrop earrings are not going to sell out today, but the cluster whatnots might. We've got more hingy hoops. Ooh. I'm amazed those didn't sell out, <laughs> honestly. Yesterday was National Jewelry Day, and you got that free little box if you enrolled a new person and... Notice these stars didn't sell out. I'm pretty sure those stars aren't going to sell out. What's the color? Oh, they're calling that one red. Budding Badlands. All right. And we got that and that. My stomach is making a lot of noise today, you guys. Okay, so we have 19 new pieces. Wow. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, I'm just... I know it is pages and pages of crap. So I don't see anything outside of these frilly feature in gold hoops. I mean, let's let's look at these close up. We have time. We have time. Um oh my gosh. What is going on there? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but let's look at these up close. What? National Jewelry Day was yesterday, and paparazzi, I'll, sh I'll go over that again. Um, paparazzi yesterday, if, if you bought 50 PV, you got a little tin that said paparazzi with an exclusive accessory in the tin for a 50 PV order. But it wasn't free. You had to buy the 50 PV to get it. Debbie. Um, this is something that, uh, a former elite told me that they did for certain accounts, certain accounts, they would load the jewelry like this with a countdown clock for certain account holders, like elites. And they got early access to see the new drops. Um, this was told to me by a former elite um about three weeks ago they started doing the countdown clock to new releases so people had the opportunity to go see what all the new releases were 
to get their cart prepared for checkout. And this is, I think, this is just my speculation, but this is another way to drive sales, in my humble opinion. Because, you know, now everything's live. So now people are going in and they're doing quantity and they're adding like five add to cart, you know, in a frenzy. And uh, that's what they're doing. They're they're adding stuff to a cart in a frenzy. I want to look at those closer. So they can check out and get their new hot items before they sell out. Okay. So I think the anklet is going to be one of the first things to sell out. I think these will probably sell out, these fairly feature things. And then I'm pretty sure this Serenity Strand might sell out, but why when you can get the same thing on Timu and leisurely layered in brown? Those are the things I'm thinking will probably sell out. Everything else will probably just end up sitting there for a while. So we'll we'll watch. Yep. Uh, what sold out? The cluster earrings are gone. All right, so I called those. So now there's 19 pieces out of the, there's 18 out of the 19 new releases still left. And the fire symbols are flying. And now people are going through a frenzy right now. And they're they're checking out. I'm pretty sure these brass things, these Garden of Love things, this Once Upon a Time old new release is not going to sell out the Copper PCA. So, but Budding Badlands might sell out today. This might sell out in the anklet. And maybe the Hingy Hoops. Who knows? They... Debbie, they just started doing it for all of their reps. Hello, Miss Anastasia. They just started doing it for all the consultants. And, you know, and I think it's because I'm guessing that somebody at Empower Me Pink said something. Um, because one of the elite let it slip. You're welcome, Anastasia. Um, I'm guessing one of the elites let it slip. <laughs> That um, uh, they got early access to new releases every day. And because someone let it slip, they were kind of asked about it multiple times. And you know how how things get out in the the uh, internet world. Teams start talking about it. People start asking their elites about it. We all know that elites have meetings with paparazzi um every single day through zoom you know to talk about whatever so very interesting stuff so all right so yeah we're three minutes in and the only thing that sold out was these and honestly i don't know what the appeal is can you guys share with me what your thoughts on this are? Debbie, didn't you have your um your friend's thing today or did that already happen? I mean, you and I have both been going to funerals lately, so just wanted to let you know I'm thinking of you. So, she was beautiful, by the way. Mindel Bell, I'm wondering if that star necklace will go since July 4th buying is underway. That's a good thought, but here's here's uh Bindel Bell. Here's my question uh, they they don't have them conditioned to think about the 4th of July. I mean, Stars and Stripes stuff would be great for Memorial Day and the 4th of July. But paparazzi is still pushing the St. Patrick's Day category. I mean, it's right here on their, on their page. They have the St. Patrick's Day category right here. And St. Patrick's Day is in three days. When, honestly, they should have had the Valentine's category in December. They should have had the St. Patrick's Day category in January. They should have the Mother's Day category active and live right now, along with Easter. So, paparazzi isn't doing their consultants any favors, in my humble opinion. They're not doing their consultants any favors by 
having these categories out the same month of the said holiday that you may want to accessorize for. So, yeah, that's just my thoughts on the process. Um, we're still at 18 new releases. Nothing else is sold out. That's really interesting, you guys. We still have this lovely inklet. Let's look and see what sprinkled selection in white. Should I do an ASMR reading? Okay, let's do it. Dancing along a silver chain, a dainty silver teardrop beads and white rhinestones and silver frames cascade around the ankle. Ooh ah. For a monochromatic shimmery statement, features an adjustable clasp closure. Wow, they're so cute and so fun. All right, so there's that ASMR reading. Okay, so let's look and see what Serenity Strands looks like up close. Oh, so it's a, uh, it's a, uh, oh wow, it's got multi. You can barely see it, but guess what paparazzi did? They took a, a Morris code chain, because that's what they call it, a Morris code chain, and one of the codes, they painted in paint. That's what makes it multi. One bead in the Morris code chain has paint on it. Hi, Ardell. <laughs> so, wow. Okay, so, um, okay. Let's just, let's just have some fun here. Oh, that's a cute purse. <gasps> Do we have a new one? I can. Oh, 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 there's a new one. I gotta get it. Okay, let's hold on. Where did he go? Where did he go? Did he? Where? Where did the little espresso cup go? I want him. Oh, oh my gosh, cherries. Okay, why is he not there? I want that little espresso cup. I want to see what it says. So, I can't. Expresso, how much you mean to me. That's cute. Hi, Naomi. Oh, I want that. Okay, so let me get back to what I was looking at. <laughs> okay, I have not. I, I'm on a Timu blackout, you guys. Morris Code Necklace Chain. All right, so if you want a Morris Code Necklace Chain. Oh, look, they have an oil slick, iridescent oil slick. Uh -uh. So. You can buy necklace chains on Timu in many varieties, okay? So let's go here. Here's the Morris code chain right here, okay? So let's, that's snake. There's the Morris code, okay? So I don't know what they call this one exactly. So maybe it's a ball chain. Nope. Side flat chain. Nope. Wave chain. Snake chain. Fox chain, regular chain, pearl chain, bamboo. So they call it a bamboo chain. Okay. And then Figaro chain, knob chain, rectangle chain, aka the paperclip chain. Okay. Um, lip chain, double water wave chain. And then you can pick your size. So say I wanted to get like a bamboo chain. I could get long, short, choker, you know, doesn't matter. You can pick your size. And then say I wanted to make that beautiful Serenity Strand necklace. All I have to do is get some paint and go beep, 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 beep. I could make that. And I could buy a whole bunch of chains and make them in a bunch of different colors. But you can get five chains for three dollars and seventy nine cents. Yeah. Okay. And if you want it in, so they call what did they call that bamboo chain? Okay. So let's look and see what they. Let's look up bamboo bamboo chain necklace. Let's see if they have it in different colors. Hello, Miss Sam. How you doing today? Oh look, we have the knotted chain with the little knots in it. Okay, and there's another bamboo chain. There's another, there's another. There's all these different kinds of bamboo chains. Wow. Oh my, oh my Lord. 
So we're at 17. What sold out now? The anklet is still there. Those are still there. I know those aren't going to sell out. I can't remember what the other thing was, but the coil necklaces are still there. But yeah. Try paparazzi inspired. They have other inspired pieces. Maybe it'll work. Where's paparazzi inspired? Do, um, I'm trying to figure out, um, like, sorry, my brain is not left, top left. Hi, Naomi. All of it is cheap looking. Oh, they do. They have a whole bunch of different types. I mean, there's so many different types all over the place. So if I was, if me personally, I mean, here's a sterling silver one. Here's one with like green in it. And that's the other thing. Sometimes uh, things are categorized under men's jewelry. So don't just look under women's, look under men's. Oh, look. Hey, that's a paparazzi key right there. I had that. And then bamboo link chain. Sterling silver right here. That one looks nice. I'd actually buy that if I wasn't in a Timu blackout. I, I'm not allowing myself to shop right now. So there's that. Oh, look, iridescent oil slick. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it cracks me up. So that's what's happening on the paparazzi sphere today. But at least they're bringing out the red. Good job, paparazzi. So proud of you. And then we've got paparazzi founders. What's your favorite platform to highlight your business? Facebook, Instagram, or my paparazzi website? Bling it up with Crystal A and C. She likes fa Facebook and her paparazzi website. Something's going on outside. Lots of policemen out there. Can you guys hear them? Yeah. I live in a neighborhood with a lot of senior citizens. I'm one of them. Um, and we have ambulances coming and going all the time. In fact, the coroner was here this morning taking somebody out. So I'm guessing one of my neighbors died last night, which is sad, but you know, it happens. My daughter came home from university for a couple days. So my daughter and mom, went, oh, yay. What'd you have for lunch? Okay, Sam, you have to tell me what you had for lunch. Did you go to a pub or did you go to your favorite bistro? What did you do? Where'd you go? So you got to tell me more about that. I like to live vicariously through you. <laughs> oh, so. Alrighty. So um, I had a bunch of people email me this week or in the last couple of days asking me if I know uh, what this story is with Bling Auntie. And honestly, I don't know. So if you have a question for Bling Auntie, ask Bling Auntie. If you're asking her and she's not responding to you, that's her choice. And you need to respect that she wants her privacy. But I don't know what's happened to her. Um, I don't know why she's not putting out content lately. So, um, yeah. So, stop asking me about her because I don't know. You know. If you want to ask me about me, I'll answer you questions about me because I know what's going on with me. But I also like to keep some things very, very private, so I do. So there's that. All right. Um, There was something I wanted to do today, but give me a second to pull it up. There's a video we can watch together today. But first, we're going to look at this close up. So it's brown with an opalescent circle in it and two different chains and a neck mask. That's lovely. Okay. All right. We're going to do a training. I just got to find it. It's a recent download that one of you guys sent me. But someone was asking me about which uh, bracelet the person was talking about that was pure junk. And I believe it was this one in blue. 
So this is the bracelet the person was having. You had quiche. <gasps> Yum. Oh, that sounds so good. Was it, was it like quiche Lorraine or was it, what was in it? Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. I'm drinking Kona coffee right now, you guys. With, uh, I can't remember the name of the coffee creamer. But that's the uh, bracelet that the person was like, this is pure crap. I don't like this at all. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. <clears throat> all right. So let me just delete all this stuff. And to all of you who were asking me questions about, because uh, people that are watching in the replay, you know what I'm talking about. So. All right, I don't know who this person uh, is technically, uh, but this is a video that we're going to watch together. Cheese and onion quiche. Oh, man, you're killing me. That sounds so good. <laughs> Sam, you're killing me right now. That sounds amazing. All right, I don't know who this is. Do you guys know who this is? Well, at least she's entertaining while she starts her live. So this is what we're going to live react to today. I don't know who this is. This was downloaded to my Google Drive. Um, one thing I am going to do is speed up the playback a little bit because I don't need to see the dance. So. Okay, when she starts talking, I'll slow it down. But right now, this is what people in paparazzi do. We have these trainings where we spend a couple of minutes dancing in front of a camera. <laughs> Look at me, I'm having fun. <laughs> Ow, that made me hurt. All right, so now she's starting to talk, so I'm going to turn it back down. All right. Um, this is a training, How to Become a Shark Team, United Fashionistas, December 22nd, 2023. So this is from December. So how to become a shark team. My team. So if anybody from my team is here, please share it. Share it. Okay. Someone shared I'm it with me. Nervous because my English is not very good looking. So I am nervous, but my name is Iris. How are you, ladies and gents? Um, I represent okay. paparazzi. I represent. She represents paparazzi. Yeah. Um. I. I was just Bindle. You just took the words out of my mouth because I was just looking at what is going on behind her. We have a lot of inventory back there, and it. I think that says sassy. So, but hooks and hooks and are they the really long hooks but I'm looking at all the inventory back here we've got two crowns so we've got the the crown flex the flex I've got crowns um I'm guessing her name is Iris did she have a a piece of jewelry named after her let's look real quick Iris Z collection Treasure Jewels by Iris. The Z Collection. Is this her? This one is called the Tina. Is this is this this person? I don't know. All right, let's go back to this. Okay. I represent United Fashionistas. I represent Sassy and Classy. I represent Gire. So I'm super duper excited to be here. I'm not. Okay, so if she represents Chile. She better not be selling this product and shipping it to Chile because if she is doing that, um, that's a policy and procedure violation. Um, just pointing that one out. But I'm here because you know what? We have to willing to do everything, even if we are nervous, even if we are scared. That's what the song says. That song says, be grateful without breaks. Say um, B, say, I, I was. I know the audio's off because it was downloaded to my Google Drive. Be grateful, even if it's a small um, 
even if it's a small win. Be grateful, even if it's a small win. I'm so nervous. Hello, everybody. If I look at, if, at the at the. Okay, so be grateful for the small wins. Yes, that is true. You should be grateful for small wins. Um, you guys get your red flags ready in the chat because I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of red flags in this. I have not watched this. We are live reacting together. Now, the other thing is um, with these trainings, this is apparently a training. I, I'm going to sit here and take notes and see if there's anything new that I can learn from this training. So I've got the notebook Denise sent me. I'm going to see if there's anything new from this training that I've learned. So let's let's listen, okay, and have fun with this. At the comments, I will not do this <laughs> because I get nervous. Um, every dream, every goal is possible. That's what the song says. That song is my team song, and I love it. All right? Don't stop. Don't be afraid. I know we scared. I know I was scared. I'm not scared anymore. I was very scared in the at first, but not anymore because I know what I want because I'm making things happen. I cannot, I just, I, I just cannot believe <laughs> what's going on in my life right now. But you know why? You know why these things are happening to me right now? Because I never, ever, ever gave up. Okay, um, so dreams, goals, don't stop, don't be afraid, making things happen, happen. Um, this is all fortune cookie, <laughs> this is all fortune cookie knowledge so far at this point. I have a question for this person. How many people did she manipulate and sell an opportunity to so she could take advantage of them? Um, I just, you know, there was a post on actually no Karen your your MLM is not a business where someone said I like coachable people and the comment said coachable is just another way to say I like people I can easily manipulate and yeah I'm hoping she tells us her story too but yeah so she's doing coaching I never All right, turn off the comments and I'm focus. I'm going to get emotional. I'm sorry. So I never, ever, ever gave up. Even in my worst time, I believed in me. I believed in the opportunity. I believed in my leaders. I, I'm going to tell you something. Andrea knows how I panic or how nervous I get when I need to speak English in front of everybody. And for me, this is in front of everybody. But she said this morning, can you do it? And I, I didn't hesitate. I said, yes. You know why? Because she is my chart. She because is her I chart. follow her steps. Because Hi, Denise. she came How are from you? Peru without knowing English. And look where she at right now. She can't even almost speak Spanish anymore. She speaks perfect English. So, yeah, Andrea came from Peru, and then she joined a multi-level marketing company and recruited a bunch of other people to said multi-level marketing company. One of those people I believe she recruited, wasn't it Nina Garcia? Denise, correct me if I'm wrong. Andrea recruited Nina Garcia to the multi-level marketing company, and then uh, they recruited a bunch of other Latinas and Latinos to paparazzi. To take advantage of a community that was probably not aware of what multi-level marketing companies were all about you know and that's the thing bringing awareness to this kind of stuff needs to continue in my humble opinion so i follow my leaders and i'm here for them are you following them so, blindly hey whatever she wants i'm gonna do because of her and many other leaders. Is she I paying you? And I am the shark that I, I can't even say shark. Maybe I'm I'm a shark, but not a big one yet. I'm a little shark. She's a little baby shark. Baby shark. Oh, we gotta do it this way. 
Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. All right. I'm growing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me. I don't know if you all know me or not know me, and this is your first time. Are we getting um, to the why now? Good to see you here. I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you love what you do because if you do not love what you do, that's going to be a setback for you. Okay. Um, Who doesn't love what they do every single day of their life? I mean, just, just, just asking a general question. Okay. So, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move this over this way and I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger. Okay. Who, who here? I'm doing okay, Sam. I'm just, uh, I'm getting used to the new medication they put me on. I will say this. Um, I've already kind of noticed a difference with it. Um, it is helping. So that's always good. But yeah, I, I'm not one of those people that loves what they do every single day. Because I'm a human being who's normal. You know, I don't know how many of you guys love what you do every single day. I mean, we have our up days and we have our down days. Reading, you know, Nina was recruited by an American girl. Oh, she was recruited by Michelle I Johnny. Okay. Five years ago. I joined it. So she's been in for five years. I joined paparazzi because I needed time for myself. I needed time. I didn't want to... I didn't want to follow any any company rules anymore. I didn't want them to tell me I um I <laughs> I didn't want to follow company rules anymore. I didn't want anyone telling me what I could do. Honey, you have more rules in paparazzi than most corporate jobs have. Have you not read your policies and procedures? I didn't want to follow any company rules. Honey, you have some of the most restrictive and control-based rules within paparazzi. So I'm debunking that one right there. But let's keep going. <laughs> time for self, too. Um, you lose time freedom when you become a multi-level marketing hun. Just saying that one out loud, too. Debunking that lie. Red flags, people. Get them up in the chat. Can't this is not a parody. This is a consultant. No. Oh, I have to ask for permission to go on vacation or to get sick. I want it to be free. And that's why I become a consultant. You didn't want to ask for vacation time? Uh, you wanted to be free? Here's the thing. Um, most companies will give you paid time off. Yes, uh, you have to plan said vacations to make sure that your job is covered while you're gone. And here's the nice thing about having paid time off from your corporate job. You don't work while you're on vacation. I don't know how many paparazzi consultants, because I was one too. In fact, it was four years ago. I was on a ship. In New Zealand, Australia area, before they shut down Australia and sent everyone home, I was working on that vacation. I was working my business while I was on that vacation. I'm sorry, but I don't know how many people, um, when you work in corporate America, are required to take all of your work communication tools with you to work while you're on paid time off. That's why it's called paid time off. So, yeah, here's the other thing. She's bashing corporate America, but I'm pretty damn sure that there are a lot of people in her downline who enrich her personally because they work their nine to five job. So they can buy jewelry and become a shark, in her words. Can you guys hear me, see me? Yeah, I'm we can good. hear you and see you, and you're full of shit. So, I joined paparazzi five years ago, knowing, knowing that I was one day go, was going to be successful. I didn't know when, but I know. Good point, I fall Denise. in love with paparazzi.
Fassi as soon as I used the jury. I said, oh, 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 this is for me. Hello, Carol. This is for me. Yes. Okay, Debbie, I want to I wanna comment on Debbie's comment. And when it's time for you to draw your Social Security retirement, paparazzi doesn't help you with that. Because when you do collect a commission check from paparazzi, y'all, uh, you have to pay your taxes to the IRS. Part of your taxes that you pay to the IRS goes into the Social Security Fund, okay? I don't know why they always shout it's annoying. Um, but yeah, by working for paparazzi, working your own business, and working without pay, you're shooting yourself in the foot in the long run. I mean, they talk about this residual income thing, but the thing is, is that only lasts for as long as your team lasts. True residual income is investing in real estate where you have a rental property, investing in stocks and living off of the dividends, putting money in a savings account that has a high pay savings yield, and you live off of the interest. Uh, that is what true residual income is. Royalties off of a book you wrote and you collect the checks. If you're an actor or an actress and you get checks from the commercial you were in, the, the TV show you were in. I mean, the people who were on Friends, they get residual income because they still get royalties from that show being in syndication. That is residual income. Being in a multi-level marketing company where you have to constantly be building your team and retaining said team and making sure that that team is buying inventory, that is a lot of work and it is stressful. And we're six days away from commission payouts, you guys. And in six days, how many more people are gonna throw their hands up in the air after they get that residual income that they busted their butt for are going to say, I've had enough of this, I'm done. You know, that's that's an honest question. So yeah, she's all shitting on corporate America, but really corporate America takes care of people in some ways. Yes, I shit on them too, because I think they should pay higher wages in the United States. I hate corporate welfare. I think they need to pay higher taxes because it is them damaging the infrastructure by using the roads. And I think they need to pay you know, they need to be better to the workers. Corporate America seems to forget the people that keep them afloat are their employees, are their workers. And that, you know, they're continual uh, shitting on their, their peon workers um, is what's keeping them afloat. If there's a revolution and people rise up and say, I'm not putting up with this anymore, and uni unionize or just walk off the job, who's going to do all the work? The CEO that makes, you know, 750% more than the, the average bottom level worker? Yeah, I'd like to see them drive a forklift. That's not going to happen. So she is shitting on corporate America, but here this, here's the thing. I think her name is Iris. Iris, most of those people that are in your downline work for a living. And you're shitting on them. I'm going to I'm going to make this happen. Why is she yelling? I told my husband, hey baby, hey baby, I'm going to maybe not be a hundred percent focusing on you right now, but it's because I'm focusing in my dreams. I'm focusing in my goals. And he said, Go ahead, baby. You got this. And I always say that, hello everybody, I cannot read the messages, I'm sorry. Um, so your husband is supportive of your dreams and of your goals. He's probably seeing the checks that are coming in from commissions. So yeah, he's going to tell her to focus on that and to do that and to work on her goals and everything. But um, is he working? Or is she retiring him? And is she putting, yeah, and that's the other thing. Is she putting money away? I doubt it. <sighs> the workforce with Florida's construction issues shows exactly that. What's going on with Florida's construction issues? Oh, tell me more. 
I bet they're putting aside no money to rehire the workers. Yeah, it's the workers who keep things afloat. You know, it, it's the people like you and me who keep this economy going because we go to work, we collect a paycheck, we have consumable items. We are, we are consumers because we have to go to the grocery store. We have to buy our prescriptions. We have to buy clothes. We have, have to pay for transportation. You know, every once in a while we want to go out to eat or buy a new book or get some new clothes. It is people like you and me that keep the economy afloat. Rich people, they they buy yachts and, and they have workers and they probably underpay their own staff, which don't, you know, whatever. But most rich people don't do the same things that we do. I know it does look like a parody, but it's not. This is an actual training. It's hilarious to me. I always say that I won the lottery. She is over the top. In October 6th of 2018. I won the lottery. So you have to feel the same way. That you Did won she really win the lottery? Lottery, lottery when you signed up. Is that when she it's signed easier. up was 2018? to make money here than to buy a ticket and hit the lottery believe me <laughs> no. okay all right <laughs> oh oh my gosh okay statistics we're just gonna pull some statistics off of a off of google here statistics with MLM versus lottery. Shocking parallels. Okay, how MLMs illegally target minorities and women. What are the odds of winning the mega millions versus uh, multi-level marketing? Okay, so I'm gonna look up the statistics on that. Um, stats on winning lottery. All right, so the odds are one in 29.2 million of taking home a big prize, okay? But let's see, one in 300 million. All right, so let's, that's 0.001%. Okay, so, you know, winning the lottery, but here's the thing. Uh, and I'm just gonna put this out here. Uh, there are more winners at a casino because the stats of casinos, you know, winners versus losers, um, the house always wins. This is just, you know, but 99.56% um, of people who join a multi-level marketing company lose money. They don't win the lottery, okay? 99.56% five six percent of people that's a stat that is a stat that i've had memorized in my brain for over three years now that is with the ftc paparazzi's own income disclosure statement proves that fact they haven't updated their income disclosure statement but they prove that fact all right so she's claiming she's won the lottery i i would have you would have better chances at a casino than you would here I do too, Debbie. A little too much. So if you do have this opportunity in your hands right now, you just hit the lottery. You have to believe it. You have to believe in yourself. I have a few lottery tickets in my purse, I'm pretty sure. Um, I believe I'm going to win. Did I? No. <laughs> it's like, you know, it, it's, it's... Paparazzi is a shitty pipe dream, okay? And... And, you know, it is. It is a shitty pipe dream. You have to stay consistent. That's my word. God, I hate that. Consistency is key. She's parroting what Misty and I Trent have say. never stopped. Never stopped. Good for you. Many things has happened to me. Many things have happened in my family. We got sick. Sad people story passed away. Important people, not any people, important people passed away. 
Was it because of Schmowit? Here. Yes, I took two days. I took three days. I might took six days. Good for you. But I came back stronger. What are you doing? So she lost people. She took a couple days off to grieve and mourn, but then she came back stronger. <gasps> Hi, Izzy. How are you? What's up? Do you want to come up? Did you want to come up? Okay, so yeah. She she came back stronger. Come here. Selena, you want to come up and sit in there? All right, loof alert. All right, just don't pull mommy's headphones out of her ears, okay? You know how to do that. I know. Hello, me. Yeah, she is trauma dumping right now. Thank you for pointing that out. I couldn't think of the word, so you helped me with that one, Airedale. Okay, let's go back to this BS. Are you letting your emotions control you? Oh! Oh my God! <gasps> emotions! That's the first thing as leaders hello, that hello. we need to teach our team. Control your emotions or your emotions will control you! Do you know what emotions do? I, I cannot get, I, I didn't get the, the pieces at 3 p.m. I'm leaving paparazzi. Um, here's, here's the thing. Um, I haven't heard anything new yet. I mean, at all. I hear a lot of rehashed uh, BS that comes from all paparazzi consultants here, but yeah. Oh, so anyway. Oh, I'm glad. I'm sorry you're having a bad day, Kim. But we'll make it better. We're listening to uh, paparazzi. Her name's Iris, I think. She calls herself the baby shark. So we're, we're listening to the baby shark. That's the emotion controlling you. That's the emotion I, controlling I, you. I, I don't sell. I only sell one piece. Uh. <laughs> the Oscar nomination for today for best actress is this person again i don't know her name but congratulations you just won the oscar for um acting emotional when there's nothing to be emotional about she's really putting on a show here it's yesterday i'm not gonna do this this is not for me that's the emotions controlling you uh-huh. Okay. Let me put music, babies, because I cannot deal without music. I can hear my echo. <laughs> yes, it's always okay to have a shitty day. I've had more than and my I fair share lately. <laughs> I, I don't like my, co my, my papa sister. I don't like my leader. I'm leaving. That's the emotions controlling you. Um... Emotions controlling people. What about facts? Um, <laughs> what about what about what about looking at your situation and and looking at the facts and the hard truth of your situation? Is that the emotions uh, affecting you, or is that you looking at? I've lost money and I have a wall of debt behind me, just like she does. I mean. Here's the thing. We've got our rose-colored glasses on, no pun intended, uh, talking about how she's won the lottery, yet she has a wall of dead money behind her, and, and that's the emotions controlling me. No, this is me just looking at the facts of what I'm seeing and, and commenting on it. I mean, uh, I just... So far, the emotions controlling you. Time for yourself. I believed in me, the opportunities, and my leaders. Cult, 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 cult. Um, don't be afraid. Making things happen. Don't stop. You have a dream. You have a goal. I haven't heard anything new. It's the same stuff that they rehash over and over and over again. It's like going to Empower Me Pink and hearing the same rehash bullshittery that everyone talks about. So stop. <laughs> She's about to break you need up. To stop. I will survive. You're a grown up woman, <laughs> and you can do this by yourself if you want. You don't have to leave the.
Um, Pepper Painters, I believe that most people, um, she doesn't speak good English, she says, but um, I have a lot of friends from, from Latin America, from Central America, from South America. When they get emotional, they, they, they elevate their speech. Um, I believe she's yelling to be a motivational speaker, but uh, I can't explain why she's yelling. I don't like being yelled at either, but I believe she's doing this to motivate the masses. Business because whatever reason, if you leave the business, it's because you don't like it and you don't want it, but don't leave it because the emotion got into you. I left the business because I was losing money. It wasn't emotional at all. I was looking at my situation and I left the business because I had more inventory than I could reasonably sell. I had more debt than I wanted to admit. I had gained so much weight because I was under financial stress. Um, I left the company because logic got into my brain. And then after I left the company, I was attacked by people on my team. I was mistreated by people on my team. Team Aim High was my team, and we were a, a branch team of United Fashionistas. So, you know, the hate that I received from those, ugh. Oh, hello, buddy. You have to. Dramatic pause. We think, just missed the dramatic pause. Think. Stop acting under when you're mad and making decisions when you are mad. You cannot make decisions when you are mad. Hmm. You can't make decisions when you're mad. Hmm. 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 How many of us have made decisions when we're mad? Oh, I know. But they spit in your face, Eva. <laughs> but I've made I have made decisions when I've been upset. The only way a decision being made that is not a legal decision is if you are uh, compromised, meaning that your logical fallacies are not there, like you're un going under anesthesia or you're suffering from Alzheimer's disease or dementia. Um, if you're inebriated, you cannot legally make a decision. Um, when I was a notary public, you could not notarize a document if you felt the person was under duress, not uh, fully logically aware of what they were signing. You couldn't notarize that signature because you had a feeling that the person was not all there. But... If someone's mad about something and they sign something, yeah, they can be mad and you can notarize that signature. M being mad is one thing, but making a decision, yeah, you can make a decision to quit because you're mad about something. You can also make a decision to cut somebody out of your life because you were mad for the last time. I mean, how many of us have left a situation that was toxic because we had had enough? Hello? I mean, oh, yeah. She, <laughs> and Joni Joe. she sounds like she's mad. Yeah, she kind of does sound like she's mad, doesn't she? <laughs> because you're going to make the wrong decision. Sam, I'm glad you sat down with your mom and did that. This is why I hate this so-called training so much, because it's just brain manipulation. No, it's emotional ma manipulation. There's no logical... Uh, training here she hasn't even started talking about anything like important yet um i mean how to become a shark team have we even gotten there yet no she's just telling you not to make decisions when you're mad yet she sounds like she's mad it's weird these mlmers act like they're saving the entire world no they're not saving anybody but themselves and their own income it's a very selfish kind of thing again get epic emotion. pause again I get passionate. I'm very passionate, so that's why I scream. I scream all the time. Oh, she just explained it. Did I you hear feel her? Like if I don't scream, people won't listen to me. I okay, so here's here's a little tip. Uh, if you don't scream, people don't listen to you. Here's something I've I've learned and something I taught. Uh, interpersonal communication. 
If you start screaming at somebody, usually they will shut down as a defense mechanism. If you want someone to listen to you, lower your voice. So if someone is screaming at me, and I've used this many times when I used to work at SeaTac uh, for Clear, and I had angry travelers, I had a guy come in and yell at me, and he was yelling loud. So I started lowering my voice and nodding, and I was like, yes, I understand, blah, blah, blah. But I got, I got my, my radio persona voice out, and I started using what uh, Scarlett Johansson said about Katie Britt. I got weirdly seductive in my tone of voice, but I calmed the situation down. But if you have to scream to make your point, it's not going to be heard by a, a bunch of people because people won't listen to the screaming. They will shut down. I get emo um, passionate. And it's not passion, it's so, crazy, in my opinion. Yes. How did I become who I am today? Exactly, Aradell. I have a... I finally got crown 25 and I'm an elite. And you're going to say how she made elite and she had never in five years. She's crown club, crown club 25 and made elite. One month, my team got crazy and ordered 21,000 pieces. That's how we became elite. <laughs> Right, 21,000. Okay, so um so she's Crown Club 25. Uh let's do the math. Okay, so I just I want to go back just 10 seconds and play that again. Oh no, did I ruin it? Okay, where are we at? 3320. Hold on. All right, so uh, I have to get it back up. <clears throat> so her team bought 21,000 pieces. Okay, so that's two PV. All right, so times 275. So her team, her direct team, what about her uh, organizational volume? She became elite. What's the first step in elitedom? Uh, let's pull up the paparazzi. Let's pull up the compensation plan real quick. All right. So, all right, I wish I could make it bigger. Oh, okay, bye-bye. Ellie's like, I'm getting down now, mommy. All right, so, oh, sugar bling. Okay, so 25,000 pieces. When do you become elite, you guys? I can't remember when, I need to find a paparazzi book. Sorry, you guys. I'm not organized today. <clears throat> so, let's see. Accessorizing your success. Um, executive producer is when you become elite. So, executive... Is it executive producer? Yeah. So, she finally became elite and became an executive producer. So, organizational volume is 40,000 PV. So 21,000 pieces, that hits her 40,000 PV. So she gets 10% commission on her direct downline, 5% on her next leg, 5% on her leg after that, 3% on her leg after that, 3% on her leg after that. Now let's go to the uh, income disclosure statement. So she finally became an executive producer. So average monthly bonus is approximately 4,000 to 10,000. So the lowest, according to, um, or no, correction, uh, $2,000 to $5,000 a month. That's the average uh, bonus, okay? So that's, That's nothing to write home about. But she's she's extremely excited about that. You know, she got her first commission check. She's Crown Club 25. She finally became um, 
in Elite. So she's going to get her Elite necklace. Uh, she gets access to Elite services and welcome bag and a cornerstone recognition necklace. And then because she became Crown Club um, with paparazzi and she's Crown Club 25, let's see what the Crown Club, uh, what does she get for being a Crown Club winner? I don't know. All right. So Crown Club 25, maintain 25 personally sponsored active consultants for three consecutive months. You get a certificate and a trophy. Wow. So she personally sponsored 25 women or men into the company. Good for her. But that's, I'm sorry, that's nothing to write home about. That's nothing exciting. But, you know, way to go, Charo. All right, so let me get back to 3108. That's where we were. I listen to my leaders. I pray a lot, a lot, a lot. I tell God, put in my path the people that are going to be good for me and for my team. So now we're going into the religious manipulation. So I was at, was it 3108? Where was I? Okay. I don't see what you see. And you have to understand that it's not your fault. Okay, that's I what I cry we're so much. I suffer so much. You have no idea. You guys have no idea how much. Why do, why do we care? Um, you're welcome. So why do we care if she suffered? You know, is this, why? Why do we care? I know I sound like Mac attack a little bit when I say the why do we care, but I kind of feel that way. It's like, why do we care? I cried in my first two years. Yeah, I cried a lot too. But I learned. <laughs> and I learned to get I out learned. and take care I of my mental my health. Books. I listened to my leaders. I allowed them to manipulate me and control me because I was I in a commercial God, cult. Put in my path the people that are going to be good for me and for my team. Uh huh. And if and if not, um, give me the strength. Give me, give me the right words. God, give me the strength and, and the right so words. Good so good to me. Hola, Charon. <laughs> Here is I'm my lost. ego. Um, Not really. I'm just Andrea appalled. Andrea is my chart. Charol Garcia is my ego. I love you both so much. Okay, now she's love bombing her leaders. Okay, this is so gross. It's like, don't do that. Don't, don't think the person who brought you into a company and manipulated you to stay in for five years so you would have a wall of debt behind you and then follow their example by bringing people into the company so they would have a wall of debt behind them. Yeah, I cry every time I looked at my bank account too. And then I cried when I opened my credit card statements. I cried. I learned from all my team, the ones that are here and the ones that are not here, I learned how to be and how not to be. Oh, I learned how so not to be too. you're always going to learn, learn something from everybody. Don't Is this training? Have we learned anything yet? Have you guys learned anything yet? You need help. I haven't you learned how to be a shark team. Help. You're not going to make it by yourself. I'm not going to make it through this. You guys are keeping me motivated to stay on. Letting us know what we do right, what we do wrong. I used to say, but why they want me to change my character? If I'm a good person, what did I have to change? I needed to be good, but firm. I believe you can, Eva. I am. What I said is that is what I said in point, and that's it. Eva, if you want to join a goop group, there's a good one out there called Two Dollar Paparazzi Accessories. Just type in Two Dollar Paparazzi Accessories Goob, and you don't need a consultant ID to join because people join those groups so they can shop from them too. So, I mean, that's why I'm in the group. 
y punto. I've learned she likes to shout to I need Sam. To how to respect people's opinions. <laughs> I needed to you guys are cracking me up. Work my business eighty percent and my team twenty percent. So work your business eighty percent and your team twenty percent. But what if you don't have a team? I used to work my team, I think eighty percent and my business twenty well, I think I used to work eighty and eighty. Like eighty and eighty, like a hundred and sixty percent. That's not a number. That's not a real number. So why can't you just say 50-50? I worked my business 50% of the time and I worked my team 50% of the time. And I never, and here's, here, okay. And here's where, here's where this comes into play. And I'm just going to say this. She was working so damn much that she had no time for herself. And she was burning the candle at both ends and she was probably exhausted and that is why she was tired. <clears throat> so, why? <laughs> let, me, let me let me work this the, the, the right way. Let's see if I can just grab it. Let us let me work this the right way. 80% my business, 20% my team. Okay, are you going to tell us how? Are you going to tell us how to do this? We're waiting. <laughs> And you know what? My business grows so much. It did? Really? So much. So much. TikTok is a blessing in my life. I gained many, many, many new customers because of TikTok. And you know what? <laughs> did you guys hear that Congress just, just uh, sent a thing to ban TikTok? <laughs> This was just passed today, apparently. So, guess what? You may have gotten many, many new customers through TikTok, but guess what? Your elected representative, whatever state you're in, probably Georgia, uh, just uh, did this whole, we got to ban TikTok, you know. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And every time I see anyone, paparazzi accessories on TikTok, and there are the words, join my team, either in the description of the video, or it's on a placard behind them, or they're wearing a little hat that says, join my team. It's an automatic report for fraud under the TikTok terms of service. So, I mean, that's how I spend my time on TikTok, reporting paparazzi consultants for fraud. I wasted a lot of time. I wasted so much time. I feel like I'm wasting time watching this. Scared to go live in TikTok. You know, I could have gone live in TikTok three years ago and it's been only six months since I've been in TikTok. Three years ago! Again, she's yelling at us. <laughs> Stop yelling. And I was <laughs> wasted my time being scared of whatever TikTok is. As soon as I went live, Thanks to, I went live in TikTok thanks to Angie, Perez, and Dixia. Mm, new names to look for on go, TikTok. Go, okay, go thanks. Live. And I have another uh, a, a team member uh, that is no longer with us, but he Gee, why did show me a lot of, about TikTok. Why are they no longer with and you? Said, did they die? Oh, let's or did this. they quit? The first time I was so scared. Give me a second, Eva. I'll like, put a link in the chat. It's not for me. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, um, um. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't. Because the messages are going too fast. People are... And I was shy. And I am not shy. Let me I'm put it shy back up. sometimes, but I am not shy. If you know me, you know that I am not shy when I'm live. So you know, you know what I did? I, I pretended said, okay, to not so be I shy. So comfortable in Facebook. How about if I go live in both platforms at the same time? <gasps> so I be in Facebook being me, being me, and at the same time people are looking at me in TikTok being me, and that's how I release. Or that's how I. I'm able to do TikTok. I'm still not able to go to TikTok if I'm not going in Facebook. I have to go 
live in both platforms at the same time. Period. Is this training? That has that's had worked for me and that's how I'm going to keep it. Uh-huh. Okay. All right then. This makes no my, sense to me. I, myself, when I hear people saying this is not selling, it's because they're not focusing or they're not growing. They're not looking for ways of growing their business. If All you're right. not doing life in TikTok. All right, you guys. They're not looking for ways to grow their business. Um, I, I hate this so much. Um, and the reason I hate this so much is because I know a lot of former paparazzi consultants who were looking for ways to grow their business. They were looking for ways to find new customers. Um, but the other thing is, is most of them did have a moral compass and they did not want to recruit people to a business until they knew that they could make it work for themselves. I was one of those people as well. I didn't want to recruit somebody to a business until I knew it was something I could actually do. But then, you know, the uh, the pe the the paparazzi gods, the the people, the almighties. Why aren't you recruiting a team? You you could be elite. You could be recruiting a team. I didn't want to recruit a team. I didn't want to be a team leader. I thought this was just something I could do in my own time. If I recruited a team, then I would have to be available for my team. I didn't want that. You know, I just I just wanted to go live and sell jewelry. And then even more stuff came out. So it's just like, okay, but all right. Because you don't have a thousand followers. I don't need a thousand followers. Happen. It is a numbers you game though. Live in TikTok? Make it happen. What do you have to do? You have to go la go um do videos all the time, 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 all the time. Did and she just get that, that that broken that record? Hello, work. hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I that's a lot of work. I don't want to do it. Then you don't want to sacrifice. Then you don't. And then you get directives from paparazzi can, uh during the winter circle. You need to make a reel every single day. That's a lot of work. And you don't get a lot of reward from said work. And honestly, it's like, ugh. You want sales, then you don't want to be successful. We have to sacrifice. We have to do things that we don't like. We have to do things that are taking out, that take us out of the comfort zone. Woo. Okay, so she's just saying stuff that has been said at convention on stage. And she's saying stuff that has been said at Empower Me Pink. So let's just listen to this again. This, again, is training. In TikTok because you don't have a thousand followers. I'm turning it. Then make it happen. How do we make it? You happen? want to go live in TikTok? Make it happen. Hi, money. What do you have to do? You have to go go um do videos all the time, all the time, all the time. All Sorry the time, about the broken the time, record again, you guys. And to you get that that a thousand followers. I that's a lot of work. I don't want to do it. Then you don't want to sacrifice. Then you don't want sales. Then you don't want to be so. so that pisses me off. So you don't want to make videos. You don't want to make reels. You don't want to go live. You don't want to do this. You don't want to find all the followers. You don't want to work your business. Then you don't want it bad enough. That That is so wrong on so many levels. levels. <clears throat> oh, good. You're taking some PTO. Good. I'm glad you're doing that. And see, she can actually take time off from her job, you guys, and she gets paid to do it, too. <gasps> Shocker. Um, <laughs> sorry. But, um, you know, this makes me mad. You have to sacrifice. Um, no, you don't. You don't have to sacrifice time. Paparazzi jewelry and accessories, they sell it to you under the guise of time freedom. Work your business when you want. They don't sell it to you that you have to sacrifice your time freedom, sacrifice time with your family, sacrifice, you know, your job, your your mental well-being, your emotional control. Um, you 
you know, none of those things are what this opportunity is sold to you under. But then once you're in, then they tell you the exact opposite. Oh, you're going to have to be working your business nonstop. Uh, you should be retiring from your job and working this full time because if you're not serious about your business, you're, you're not sacrificing enough. That's full. And you we won't be successful. Sacrifice. We have to do things that we don't like. We have to do things that are taking out, that take us out of the comfort zone. Woo. Okay, that's bullshit. Make it happen. How do you make it happen? Stop Give us ideas. Letting your emotions get control of you. Put that in your mind. My emotions do not control me. Is this the training? Is this all this training is? Is don't let your emotions control you? Emotional control? Is this training all just bite model emotion control? Thought control? Behavior control? I mean, so far we are B-I-T. Or B-E, B-I-E. I mean, come on, where's... We've got the thought control, the behavior control, the emotional control. Um, information control. Have we gotten there yet? No, but I have a sus suspicion it's coming. Oh my, my god. My emotions do not control me. I control my emotions. Yeah, that's called maturity. My English is super very good looking right now. I love in this. <laughs> Jesus. I need this today. Thank you, beautiful. All right. I'm Listen. Is the training done now? I mean, we're 20 minutes in. Where's the training? I had to sacrifice a lot to be where I am right now. I can't even believe. I can What did she sacrifice? Okay, let's figure out what she's talking about here. I can't even believe where I am right now. I cannot believe it. Because you always think that it's going to happen, but exactly, you don't know Denise. If it's going to happen until it happens. You know how many people I recruited in November? What was November, you guys? It was the it was the beginning of the twenty dollar party permit pass. That's what happened in November. So she was able to recruit a lot of people because there was no real investment involved. Okay. And that's something that paparazzi is currently thriving upon. They're recruiting and building their numbers back up because there's no real investment involved in joining the company. $20. $20 is it. That is all people need to join this company. So she had her best month in November. And it's like December. And she's Crown Club 25. Good for her. But. That's why she got so many recruits in November. So this is not a flex and this is not a brag because guess what? Paparazzi made it a full-time thing. I blessed. I don't like the word recruited, but that's the right word. 41. I blessed. I don't like the word recruited. You didn't bless anybody but yourself. When you recruit somebody to your multi-level marketing pyramid scheme, you're not blessing anybody but yourself. So, oh, what the, what the F? People. God damn. Most of them wanted just the discount or let's see how it is. In my team, I have 42 people active this month and 32 of them are mine personally. Ooh, flex. I have 30 people actively buying. 42 of them are active on my downline. Um, yeah, let's, let's just say what it is. I conned a bunch of people into this. I blessed them with this opportunity. No, you didn't. You blessed yourself by selling an opportunity to people, and then you encouraged them to build a wall of debt behind them just like you did. And they're buying jewelry at a frenzied pace, probably Monday through Friday, not really understanding what they've gotten themselves into. They haven't really been trained on how to run an actual business, and they probably don't know the level of mindfuckery that's involved with all of this. But yes, go ahead and say how you blessed them. And I'm like, what? <sighs> what? 
I just want to. What just happened? You know what happened? I manipulated it's people. Not when I want it, it's when God want it. With religious manipulation. Red flag! I let it be. I let him control this dream. I let him control this this dream? Oh my gosh. Do these people actually read their stupid Bibles? Do they actually take into account the, the teachings of their Bibles? Because... Um, I don't believe, uh, God would appreciate you using his name to take advantage of somebody for self-enrichment. Okay? I just don't. I don't think that God appreciates people using his name for self-enrichment, for manipulative pur purposes. I mean, even he does not like organized religion, okay? Says so. But that's the thing. People are worshiping the wrong things. And when they bring religion into a multi-level marketing pyramid scheme, it takes all credibility and throws it out the window, in my humble opinion. So when someone's telling me that God is running their business and telling them how to do things and that they, no, it's called gut instinct. Hi, Beck. It's called gut instinct. And the fact that she's, she's putting all the praise on God. No, here's the thing. God had nothing to do with people joining your team. You manipulated them. God had nothing to do with those people joining your team and spending money Monday through Saturday this month buying jewelry to hang on the wall behind them to show how successful they are. Meanwhile, you do these bullshit trainings that do not teach a damn thing. Um, and it's all manipulation. It's all behavior, information, and emotional control. But then let's just throw in some religious manipulation while we're at it. No. It's when I want it. I want to smack your when face right you now. That's what God says. No, 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 baby. You have a lot to learn. Yes, you do. That's you don't know said. how to train no, for shit. No, my daughter. You have a lot to learn before you become a 25, 25. Why are round. you screaming? So let's learn. <laughs> let's, cool. let make, let me. That's what God is telling, told me. Let me. Oh, did God come down and. And stand in the corner of your room and go, oh, 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 and tell you everything that you needed to know? Did he really? Teach you. Was God Let Misty me. Kirby in this case or Andrea Let Hutchinson? Me. I'm just confused. Let me make you. And I let him. I let him. Again, we're, we're, and the Oscar goes to... Um, whoever this person is, for emotional control manipulation and the crocodile tears that are not coming out. I let him. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I just think of Jim Carrey pretending to cry. It's like, I mean, come on. This is this is so manipulative. And that's why I'm here. Where's the tears? Show the tears. I'm sorry. This is such an act. I don't see any tears. Okay, I see a tear now. It's what I dreamed. It's over here. My team is what I dreamed. I told him so many times. I want, I want a united team. I want a united team. I want people who are like-minded individuals. Hi, Heather. How you doing? I want people that are like-minded individuals. I want coachable people. People that will listen to my manipulation tactics. People who will listen to what I tell them, take it as truth, take it as gospel, and do what I tell them to do blindly. 
I want people who will not look for information outside of my bubble and will trust me implicitly, blindly, without thinking for themselves. That is, that is what cults want. They want people who trust blindly. They don't look for information outside of said cult. They live in their echo chambers. Okay? We have echo chambers all over this country. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, um, YouTube. Those things, if you allow them to be, they will be echo chambers. What uh, news media you, you consume could be an echo chamber. What books and magazines and newspapers you read could be an echo chamber. If you refuse to step outside of said chambers, you personally are allowing yourself to be pulled into the echo chamber. And then pretty soon it's fed to you consistently. When you follow certain things on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you guys get hey, you like this, here's a suggestion for another YouTube channel you might like. If you log out of your YouTube and you just look at what's in YouTube, what's popular, what people are watching, you can see what popular echo chambers are out there. But paparazzi, in my humble opinion, is an echo chamber. You've got the winner's circle. You've got all of your teen group pages. You've got... um trainings you've got your elites and your uplines and then of course if you look like you're you're struggling or if you need to do something they ask you to do a training they love bomb you and say you're doing so great at this you should do a team training and show people how to do this when i started to question what i was doing with paparazzi that's what happened with team aim high because my Shopify store was successful, I was asked by my team leader to do a team training on how to use your Shopify store to get things out there. You know, another team training that we had was someone's like, you should go to Cameo and have a celebrity uh, tout your store. And then you can put it on your, on your, on your Shopify store. Yeah, I'm not going to pay some stupid celebrity for them to say something about me that's not true if someone's gonna say something about me i want it to be their opinion of me not an opinion i wrote for myself and paid them to say because that's me being real <laughs> you know and he gave it to me yeah but, but god gave, gave you everything you have i was ready What is That's true, my, Monique. My advice to you guys. Let him take over your business. Let him take over you. And this training was done on December 22nd. So it was two days after she probably got her first big commission check from paparazzi. Okay. So now she's telling people to not give up and turn it over to God. And yeah, it's the end of the year. People can't buy jewelry because they're trying to buy Christmas for their families. It's the slowest season for paparazzi consultants, which I know for a fact, but paparazzi will never admit that. No, we get lots of sales in January and December, but it's slow. So this training, just like Monique said, because I'm going to read it verbatim for those who are listening, Monique said, it is sad because the thing she's saying now will have someone who is ready to quit, divide, and to hang in there thinking things will change. But the thing is, is and, and it happened to Monique, and that's why she's saying that, but the thing is, things will not change, okay? And that's another thing, Aradil. Not everyone believes in God, but if you're a part of this uh, echo chamber, most likely you do, okay? Because 
if you're a part, ooh, the candle smells so good right now. If, sorry, squirrel moment. Um, But if you're in this group dynamic, nine times out of 10, everybody in this group dynamic is a member of some sort of Christian faith, okay? Because multi-level marketing companies, uh, they recruit people from their church. They re recruit people from their communities. I don't know a lot of people outside of myself, I'm just talking about myself here, who have joined a multi-level marketing company that was not religious. If there's a if there's a person watching my channel that joined a multi-level marketing company and you're not Christian, you're not of any religion, you're completely agnostic or atheist or whatever, I want to know because I wasn't manipulated through uh, religion. I was manipulated and preyed upon because I was in a vulnerable place in my life. I was lonely and I needed community and I needed friends because I felt alone. I felt isolated. And somebody saw that in me and recruited me to this company. And now I will say this, what has come of it is some really good real friendships. Okay, really good friendships. Uh, Monique is one of them. Denise is one of them. Beck's one of them. You know, I have some really good, solid friendships that I otherwise would not have had, had it not been for this company. But the thing is, is those relationships didn't form within the company. They formed after. Ask him, tell him what you want, and it will be, it will, I have it will a friend happen. that's Wiccan too, Only Sam. When is the right time? The right time is never. It happen only when it's the right time. People are going to leave you. People are going to stay. And people are going to come back to you. Um, people are going to leave, but they'll come back to you? Are we talking about you or are we talking about paparazzi here? I got to go back a second. What you want and it will, be, it will, it will happen only when it's the right time. It will happen only when it's the right time. People are gonna leave you, people are going to stay, and people are going to come back to you. But Okay, so here's another manipulation thing, and I'm just gonna point this out. It'll happen for you when it's the right time. How many of us heard that? Your time is not right. You need to be patient. I remember hearing this, Aradale, if you're still here. I remember hearing this when I was single in the Mormon faith. Well, your, your right person hasn't arrived yet. It's not the right time for you. This person's more worthy. You're not. You need to work on something. Your person will arrive when you're ready. It's not the right time. And people will leave you. And when they're ready, they'll come back. This so wrong, so wrong on so many levels. And I'm just, you know, this, this irritates me just a little bit. Okay. It's just, ugh. just the right people. All right. In convention. Oh, good. Here we go. Now she's going to spew convention. stuff from convention. I... Convention is amazing. <laughs> Convention is amazing. One of the things that I that is stayed in my mind. Kim, you were told it will pick up. Just be patient. That Emily Brisson said. What did Emily Brisson say? Emily Brisson told Trent, "I would do what it takes for paparazzi." Never have to close their doors. Oh, that's culty. Okay. So Emily Brinson said to Trent Kirby, I will do what it takes so paparazzi never has to close their doors. So what did she do? Didn't Emily Brinson become like Crown Club 500? So Emily Brinson did what she could to make sure paparazzi didn't have to close their doors. So she manipulated and recruited. Yes, not blessed. 
She manipulated and recruited a bunch of people to join the company and buy jewelry. And she went out there and she hit the streets. She pounded that pavement. She went on social media. She did a bunch of join my team, team opportunity calls. She encouraged her downline to do the same thing. That's what, that's what I'm betting. So I'm going to do what it takes so paparazzi never has to close their doors. Um, that's like someone going, going to, you know, their cult leader. I will do whatever it, I can to get more people into the fold. I will go and be a missionary for you. I will go and convert more people. Blah. I mean, th that's what it sounds like. So good job, Emily Brinson. Because if paparazzi ever closes their doors, we stay without a job. But, oh my gosh, you mean if paparazzi closes their, their doors, you'll be without a job and a paycheck? No way. But I thought you were a business owner. I thought you owned your own business. I didn't think that uh, paparazzi was tied to you in any way, shape, or form. I thought you owned your own business. But if paparazzi closes their doors, you're out of business. So is it really about selling jewelry or is it about recruits and collecting those sweet, sweet commission checks? Hmm, I wonder. Ugh. Yeah, and the fact that you are aware of this, your level of self-awareness is there, but you just haven't crossed, crossed the threshold. And it's because what? I just became elite and I got my first real big commission check because I'm elite. And I want to go to convention this year. And I want to get my elite necklace. So our job is to recruit. Make sure the paparazzi have never have to close their doors. Why is that your job? You're not getting paid for it. You're paying them. So our job is to make sure that people are still spending Monday. Monday. Spending Monday. Monday through Saturday this month. That's our job. It's to make sure we have enough people in there buying to keep paparazzi open. So, hello? I mean, do, do you hear? Do you hear what you're saying? I mean, come on. We had to work hard. We had to make dreams come true. How do you do that? Because we have the opportunity. Everything is possible. If how? you believe it. How? You have to learn how to love the company, their rules, their policies. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like in shock. Uh, you have to learn to love the company, their rules, and their policies. Did, did you guys, do you hear that? Okay, um, I just want, wow, wow, this is, this is some, pardon my language here for a moment. This is some real fucked up shit, okay? All right, so, um, let's, let's, let's listen to that again. So our job is to make sure the paparazzi have never have to close their doors. We had to work hard. We had to make dreams come true. Because we have the opportunity. Everything is possible if you believe it. You have to learn how to love the company. The you don't have to love a company. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't have to learn to love anything that I don't want to. You have to learn to love your husband. If someone said that to me, I'd be like, what kind of arranged marriage fuckery is this? No offense to people who have, ever, have had arranged marriages. We have to learn to love the company. We have to learn to love the policies and procedures. We have to learn to love the terms and conditions. We have to learn to love this crappy ass jewelry. No, you don't. And the fact that she said that, I'm just, I, my mind is blown. Rules, their policies. 
our fun founders. We have to learn how to love them. <laughs> no, you don't. We have to learn every little step that we take forward. This is training. Again, I remind you guys, this is this is training from Team United Fashionistas. You have to learn to love your leaders, love the company, love every step you take in the process. You have to trust the process. You have to you have to believe that God will bless you. And if you don't believe in God, well then fuck you. Um this this is gross on so many levels. I'm just like, oh. Never look back. No, Just look back and see what you've gotten change. yourself into. Everything is in front of you. Nothing is back there. Um, there's inventory back there. There's nothing back there except a shit ton of inventory. <laughs> Nothing's back there. Don't look back the man behind the curtain. You know, it's like nothing is back there except a bunch of dead money I have hanging on my wall and lots of bins on the floor. <laughs> Nothing's back there, though. <laughs> Just saying. Be consistent. Oh, the consistent Listen, word again. If I go on vacations, I get sick. People has passed away. I go. I have grow. I have gone to many things in my business. Hi, Sam. We're watching a manipulative training. I'm doing good. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm doing okay. I, I look I look very chill, but I've I've put my awesome I started using this uh face oil stuff. Uh, it's called Marula and it's it's definitely helping with the hydration so I'm not as dried out. But I gotta get some more water soon. When I go on convention, I record ten lives. Oh cute! Ten videos. So I can post it every day when I'm on when I'm on conventions. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. So now she's talking about spending the day making social media content for the days that I'm on vacation. Yeah, I did that too when I left in November for vacation. Guess what? I spent the month before in October uh doing a bunch of reaction videos and training videos and stuff so you guys would have content while I was out of the country. And I still I still went live when I was out of the country too. But um yeah. I did that to keep you guys entertained. But she's doing this to keep her engagement up and to find new prey. To find new people to manipulate or in her words, bless with the opportunity. I communicate with my Customers, if I'm not going to go live, hey, people, I love you. I won't be able to go live tonight because my daughter-in-law's birthday is today and I'm going to celebrate with her. Do they care? Hey, guys, I'm not going live tonight. Go shop with somebody else. Do they do they really care? I mean, here's the thing. Here's a training training thing that's not been said yet. Hey, everybody, I'm not going to go live tonight. But if you want to look and see what's available, you can go shop my replicated website. Here's the link. I'm going to go and uh, take care of some family things to show that I can work my business and you guys can still shop. No, we didn't even mention that in the training yet. But I'm going to go live earlier in the day. So you guys don't miss. It is nonsense. I'm doing videos on that later, I, Denise. I am an open book. Open book. You want to know everything about me? You can know everything about me. Can we please close that book? I don't want to know. I don't have nothing to hide. Except the inventory on the wall behind you. So the other day I was finishing my life and somebody asked, Iris, where are you come from? Well, we already know. You told us. You came from Chile. talking about my story. And you know what? People loved to hear about you, about your childhood. Um, they do? Really? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so this is training. Now we're going into talk about yourself. Become more relatable. I thought she was almost done, but we have 15 minutes to go. I'm losing my mind. Even if, it's a, if it was a good childhood or a bad childhood, you're going to tell them what, they, what you want them to know. I'm going to speed it up. That's what I want to do. I am me. I am mean. I'm what perfect in every way, shape, or form. I'm not somebody here and some, somebody else over there. I might be shy if I see you for the first time. I might be shy. But as soon as I know you and we... Uh, uh, the crazy iris is in. I'm just glad she's not petting her hair. Every day of my life, every day of since, since I started paparazzi, I am a light to somebody. Every time I open my messenger, it's somebody telling me, thank you. Thank you for telling those words to me. Thank you because I needed that. Thank you because of this, because of that, because of because. And Is she really just manipulating and that's why people are thanking her? Because, no. <laughs> I mean, no. And I'm like, and that is, you know what? That is God telling me how good I am doing. Okay, so when I get thank you notes from you guys and people saying thank you for making me laugh today and all that stuff, is it because of God? No, it's because of me. No offense, but yes, my maker did give me the ability with the sense of humor and bless me with an amazing husband who has an even more amazing sense of humor. But, you know, I digress, but ugh. So don't stop. Don't stop. If you get sick, get better and jump in. If somebody passed away, healed and jump in. Listen to me. If you have a job, if you have a job, you know, like a secular job, that's the right word. If you have a secular, secular, if you have a job <laughs> and somebody passed away in your, in your family. Guess what? You get bereavement time. If somebody in your family passes away and you have a regular nine to five job and you have to uh, go to a funeral, guess what? You get bereavement pay. Yeah, if you if you have to go to a funeral, you get time off with pay. David did. He didn't even ask for it. He was planning on just using regular PTO. She's getting on my new nerves too, Charlie. Your Trust me. Going to give you That's why I sped her up. Maybe five, I don't know. And then you have to go back to work. Even if we're in pain. And believe me, I know what pain is. My mom it passed away and my father passed away in March. So I know what pain is. Everybody knows so what pain is, bitch. Even if I'm in pain. Because if not, oh, I will have to go and work for somebody else with pain too. And I, I'm sure. Did you guys hear David? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's like, yeah, everybody knows what that is. So, you know, this sob and dance story, it's like, ugh. I might not like my job. So, I'm not telling you, I'm not, it's not that we are not empathized with you. We do, because we go through it. But you have to keep going. That's what your loved ones need. So she's saying that she took a few days off for. Oh, the guys look. Oh, Ellie's like trying. Do you want me to open? The Hold on a second. The doggy wants the window open. Give me a second. Here you go. Now you can look out the window. She hears the birdies and she wants to look out the window. There you go. So. She, she even herself said that um, she took a couple of days off, but she went right back to working her business even though she was in pain. Well, yeah, it's called maturity. It's called adulthood. It's called you do what needs to be done. And I'm one of those people when I have something on my mind or I'm suffering emotionally, sometimes I will throw myself into work to avoid dealing with what I'm dealing with emotionally, physically, whatever. That is what I do. That's how I cope. You know, I shut down emotionally and I throw myself into a project or a book or work. You know, because that's, those are my coping mechanisms. Once. Look, I, I, um, same here, Denise. One of our, our papa sisters, Gloria, her husband passed away maybe, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, four, a month already. And I think I saw her a week after he passed doing live in Power Hour doing paparazzi. She didn't stop. Yeah, because of what I just said. Instead of dealing with the emotion, she continued to live. You can still grieve. You can still grieve. 
you can find time to do so. Just like Debbie. Debbie just lost her best friend. She's found a way to honor her best friend, but she still has to go on living. So yeah, someone lost their husband and then she goes and does a power hour. One, she probably needed the sense of community. She probably needed something normal to her day. And what was her normal? Selling paparazzi jewelry. <laughs> I mean, so she went live to have the sense of community and to have an emotional connection with people and adulting. So, you know, the level of maturity that this person is showing is a little piss poor. Sorry. And I'm like, wow, she's inspiration to me. That's not inspiring. It's called adulting. He goes, I know she's in pain. She still was working her business. She still have goals to make. She still have um, um, dreams to, to accomplish. Goals and dreams. No, she still has bills to pay and she still has to make money so she can pay said bills. And I know for sure that's what her husband wanted. Oh, no. So did Okay, so she knows for sure that's what her husband would have wanted. Did he come down from the heavens and tell you this? Oh, I mean, come on. I mean, God, lady. Sister, brother, if you're going through a loss, if you're going through sickness, if you're going through whatever you're going through. You want to yes. back up? Thank if you, you want to take the time, take the time. Come here. Do not take forever. No, it's Come not going to go outside yet. Come back and be vulnerable. Tell them why you stopped. Tell them I stopped because of this. But I am back and I am stronger. No, there is not a lot of selling That's going on. I am becoming There's a lot of bullshittery going on. I never stop. So I'm telling you, do not stop. If you're here, it's because God wanted you here. He wants you here. Religious manipulation. You know what I tell my team all the time? Because I want them to learn how to do this because of them. Sam, were you cooking and you put it on the stove and then you turn the heat on and then you forgot that you turned the heat on and then it started to melt? I've done that. <laughs> for them. I know they say, yes, I'm doing this for me, but my team... Fire alarm went off and I was like, oh, shit. My team, they... Wasn't there a live a couple weeks ago, you guys, where I accidentally left the toaster on and I melted the food scale and David showed me that I melted the food scale? Yes, my brain does not brain sometimes. You guys see me when I can't think of words, but yeah, okay. They love me and they, some of them join my team because they love me. No, they joined your team what because you, you manipulated I them. I want them to have that in their mind. I told them you need to follow, you need to keep going and build and finish my legacy. You cannot stop because I'm not here. You cannot stop because your leader left. Are you here for your leader or are you here for you? What are, you are you here for your leader or are you here for you? Well, um, just about 10 minutes ago, you told us that we had to learn to love the policies and procedures and love the company and love the founders and love your leaders and love the terms and conditions. So you just contradicted yourself in this live. So are you in this for your leaders or are you in this for you? I don't know because you're all over the place and there's no structure to this training. What are you here for? Do you know what are you here for? Do you know what are you here for? I know what I'm here for. To expose your stupidity. I got sick. I got COVID sick. And I was in bed for six days. I wanted to die. I was like, oh my God. Are you vaccinated? Are you protecting yourself against it? Because if not, that's your problem. That's your fault. Because if you were sick for six days, did you take the precautions that are available to every American for free? Um, or did you just not believe in that? Because God will protect you. Just asking for a friend. Did you get your vaccination or not? Because <clears throat> COVID is totally preventable if you do that. God, I need to go live. No, you don't. You need to heal. The first day I felt better. I wasn't 100% good, but I was better. I was like, I'm back. And I connect. I, I had. She's back, but did she lose her sense of smell? Probably. I take, like, <laughs> I did. And keep going. And keep going. And my customer were like, oh my God, Iris, take it easy. I'm here. Why is she yelling again? Stop and yelling. I wanted to be here with you guys. I hate. So learn oh, how to this. love this opportunity that God gives you gave you learn how to love paparazzi 
No. Because if you if you think about paparazzi closing their doors, what will you do? Go get a real job that pays you an actual paycheck. Sell the jewelry that I've inventory loaded on. You know, that's if paparazzi closed their doors today, and let's let's talk about this for a second because she has said this twice now in this training. What will you do if paparazzi closes their doors? Um, she has said this twice. What will you do? Yeah, I know. It's sorry, Sam. It's do it's nails on a chalkboard for me too. But what will you do if paparazzi closes their doors? I know what I did. When I closed the door on paparazzi, I went back into the workforce so I could pay off the epic debt that I had. I focused on selling the inventory, the epic amount of inventory that I loaded up on. Okay? I did all of that. And then I went on a personal, uh, a personal enlightenment kind of thing. Um, <laughs> you're right, Sam. I just did. I didn't even look. I was just talking to you guys. I went through therapy. I decided to start speaking out. And I started to be an advocate for change. And I still feel like I'm doing that. But I want to focus more on teaching people how to spot bite model red flag behavior and to realize that it's okay to make a mistake. It's okay to shut a door on something. It's okay to say this was a learning experience for me. There's a lot of things that people could do uh, to you know, to learn from this, but I don't want to do it through shaming somebody. I mean, I mean, I've been spicy because yeah, this is my commentary channel and this is my opinion, but I, I just get really, really irritated with this. Yeah. People needed to put their focus on the right things. Paparazzi took focus away from so many people. So I'm just pointing that out. Um, you put your focus back on your family and they needed you so much more. And guess what? You are more present with your family. You are able to provide for your family so much better than you were ever able to as a paparazzi consultant. And you are becoming healthier because of it. Monique, we haven't even talked about this, but I guarantee you, I bet you've lost weight since you quit paparazzi. Without even trying, because you're no longer stressed and you're not having the stress hormones hang on to weight. I bet you've lost weight since you left paparazzi. Okay, so there's that. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. I mean, most people who leave multi-level marketing who have gained weight because of the stress they were under financially with paparazzi, when the financial stress dissipates, so does the stress hormone that causes them to gain weight. So I bet you've lost weight too. I don't know what I would do. I think I would go crazy if paparazzi closes their doors because this is what I love to do. And I don't want that doors to be closed ever, ever, ever. Well, I hope they close and then you're totally lost. No offense, but if paparazzi closes their doors and leaves all of their elite consultants in the lurch and they don't get their final paycheck, darn. You've been warned. Okay, you have been warned. So if paparazzi closes their doors and you have to go figure out how to do something else, do yourself a favor. Don't join another multi-level marketing company because they can do the same thing. There are several multi-level marketing companies that have decided to eliminate the MLM aspect from their company and just go into direct sales. Okay, there's a bunch of other companies that have been closed down because they're no longer viable as a multi-level marketing company. The writing is on the wall for paparazzi as well. It's just a matter of time. And the wheels of justice are slow. I hate to be honest with you, but see, I, I told you you've lost weight. Because um, I looked at pictures from before and now and you've lost weight. So the wheels of justice are slow, but paparazzi has not received their full comeuppance yet. It's just a matter of time. So if paparazzi ends up closing their doors, closing up shop, 
taking all the money that you guys have sent them and putting it offshore and going off to the Dominican Republic, you guys are all shit out of luck. You're screwed. So let's work. Yeah. So paparazzi would never have to close those doors. Oh. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna recruit comments, more okay? people so That's people keep buying, and paparazzi I'm won't leave grow, them. Grow the company as well and make my business a success, and in the future teach others as you are teaching me. Uh, you, do you guys have? What did we learn, you guys? What have we learned? Nothing. Thank you, Nancy. Do you have got got any questions for me? Today there's no pieces today, so we can stay here till 4 p.m. <laughs> Do you have any questions? I love you, Andrea. Thank you for this opportunity. We I, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. So she ends it by doing a scare tactic. Uh, the scare tactic was paparazzi. If paparazzi closes their doors, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. If paparazzi closes their doors tomorrow and you don't know what to do with yourself, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. And the other thing is, is as I pull up the paparazzi uh, website and I go into my cart, we had, what, 18, 19 pieces in new releases today. The, the cluster earrings sold out and a couple other things. That's it. But people aren't buying jewelry through the fear of missing out anymore. When you go to the main shop, you look at what's still available from this week and things are not selling out. Why are people not buying paparazzi right now? One, it's tax season. People are doing their taxes right now. People are realizing that they have to pay taxes right now. People are now saving to pay said tax bills. And there's quite a few consultants, I am sure who did not deduct the taxes from their commission checks, and now they're realizing, oh shit, I should have done that. And now they're scrambling to save money to pay Uncle Sam. Guess what's inevitable in life? Death and taxes. So, um, that's what's happening right now. Because I look at all the stuff that's sitting here in the back office under the new releases tab, and nothing, nothing is really selling out. And then we go to the last chance category. We have the gothic grandma stuff.